Hoppets and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Hoppets. Today's beer is going to be the last uh, Southern Tier beer I have currently. The last Southern Tier beer I had in my fridge. Uh, it's going to be the Southern Tier uh, Imperial Coffee Stout Java. And it's from the Black Water series. This one was released in March this year, I believe. And yeah, it says here, Stout Brewed with Coffee. I'm um, looking forward to this. It's a really big beer. Uh, it's on 11% alcohol. Yeah, it's brewed with two row pale malt, caramel malt, chocolate malt, black malt, roasted barley, and Cascade and Columbus hops, along with Jamaican roasted coffee. And they say you should serve it around 8.9 degrees Celsius, or 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, mine is way warmer uh, than that, I think. But uh, yeah, it says here, Black Water Series. Over 3,000 feet above the sea level in the misty mountains of Jamaica, some of the world's finest beans are handpicked on the way to becoming Blue Mountain Coffee. Halfway around the world, Plum Spring Bali grows to maturity in the lonely soil of North America, while aromatic, ho aromatic hops are cultivated to exacting standards here in our kettles. These three special ingredients are blended to create a heady mixture of sweet sugar, dark roast, and complex flavor. Please enjoy this brew in moderation. And then it says, an eye-opening experience. But I think it's pretty cool it's brewed with uh, Blue Mountain Coffee, because that's, as far as I know, one of the better coffees in the world. Along with the, the that weasel coffee because Biggie Brunch weasel is brewed with. But let's crack this. Imperial Stout Brewed with Coffee Open. And it's just on here, it's just a standard southern tier cap. That's all, wow, that smells coffee like. Um, but let's get it poured into the filler snifter. I have used this a lot currently because it's really good with these big, big beers. Yeah, okay, this looks like a traditional Imperial Stout. When you pour it, uh, there is no light coming through it at all if you hold it up to the light. It's just a pitch, opaque, black color. Uh, you can't see anything through this beer at all. It looks like it's got a lot of carbonation. It's a small two, almost two finger uh, tan head. It looks like your traditional imperial stout, but wow, I can just smell the coffee from here. So let's, let's check out the aroma. There is just an immense amount of coffee in the aroma. Wow. Real smooth coffee type of aroma. One thing, one thing that surprises me is I actually smell some hops. There's a slight amount of hoppiness in here, along with some roast, a decent amount of roasted malt, maybe some toasted graininess as well. Slight amount of chocolate. The, the, the coffee in it, I expected it to be very, very dominating. It is, is definitely quite dominating uh, in the beer, but... I expected a lot more coffee than this, actually. But I do smell, maybe there's more coffee in the taste, but it does not It does definitely smell like an Imperial Stout uh, brewed with coffee. But let's, let's give this, this bad boy a taste. This is a big beer. Yeah, the body on it, it's, I, I wouldn't actually call it extremely full-bodied as in some Imperial Stouts. I would actually call this like a full body, but bordering on being slightly medium bodied. Uh, but the mouthfeel, it's creamy, it's slightly dry as well. It's nice. Uh, it's got this almost salty note to it actually, which is strange, but a lot of coffee, uh, slightly chocolatey note, slightly earthy as well. Uh, some roasted malt. It is quite nice. The head here looks quite nice now. It looks like I get an espresso, espresso coffee type of head, but... It just, it's just strange with that almost salty note. That's quite strange to me. Um, but it is, it is nice still. It is quite nice, a quite nice beer. Mm. There is a slight amount of dark fruit. It's actually quite sweet Imperial Stout. Um, not as sweet as their chocolate though. Their chocolate is just very sweet and chocolatey. This is still quite sweet. Uh, it's got some chocolate notes, but there's actually a great amount of sweet malts, uh, sweet maltiness in here. Mm. 
um, as it warms up in your mouth, the mouthfeel just gets nicer and nicer. I wouldn't go as far as calling this an exceptional coffee stout. Uh, maybe I've gotten a, a bad bottle, but this is definitely not the best Southern Tier beer I've had. I actually expected way more from this beer. Um, it is a nice rich coffee taste, but that slightly salty note is quite strange, I think. Uh, but still, it is a good beer. I mean, would I pick it up again? Yeah, but for this price, no I wouldn't. I paid 80 kroners for this, which is around $12. US dollars. That's around that price is the average price I pay for a bomber of American beer. So uh, it's quite expensive, but mm. I mean it's good uh, still. Uh, would I pick it up again? Yeah, if I had the money for it. <laughs> but um, rating wise, I'm gonna go have to go 80 on this one. It didn't impress me as much as some of the other Southern Tier beers has done. I was actually expecting this to be a coffee bomb with a lot of coffee, but there isn't actually as much as I expected, but it's still a really smooth, nice imperial stout. This would be a good beginner imperial stout, or coffee imperial stout actually, because it isn't extremely roasted, it isn't extremely boozy. That's a nice thing, again, with Southern Deer, they hide the alcohol very well. I, I don't taste the 11% at all. Mm. But yeah, um, an 80. Uh, it's a solid, good, yeah, 80 is still a really good grade. So an 80, yeah, for the Southern Chew Java, and I'm gonna sit d uh, down and sip on this for some time now, guys. And uh, remember, let me know what you think of this beer if you've had it. And uh, yeah, probably a lot of you guys have, but uh, I'm not sure. But let me know, and remember to comment, subscribe, all that, thumbs up, check out the older videos, and such shit like that. And I'm gonna say cheers, guys in some coffee stout and I'm gonna see you in yet another beer review.